Hello, it's Dr. Brian McDonough. I want to clear up some common questions, misperceptions. I know things are very confusing out there. So here's what you need to know. First of all, whether you call it a booster or a third dose, the bottom line is this. You need another dose of the vaccine to protect yourself if your last dose was six months ago, if you got Moderna or Pfizer. So if you got the Moderna vaccine, you had your dose, you got the follow-up, and then it's been six months since that second dose, you should get the booster or the third dose, whatever you want to call it. If you've had Pfizer, you had your first dose, your second dose, it's been six months, you should get the booster or the third dose, whatever you want to call it. If you had Johnson & Johnson, two months later, you should get another dose, and I would recommend Pfizer or Moderna. I recommend because that's what the CDC is saying and the information supports that. So why this extra dose? I've been saying this for a while. These vaccines do not last forever. They protect you for quite some time, but they do not last forever. Think about flu shots. You get flu shots every year. That is what's going to happen with COVID. Whether it's on a one-year interval or not, we don't know yet. It's relatively new, but Based on the fact of what we've seen in Israel and other countries, I think it's safe to say that after you get this third dose, it should last for nine months to a year. But you'll need another. And don't let anyone talk you out of it. You will need another. I really believe that these vaccines will be part of our lives for a while. The next step, which is really important, is understanding that when you get this vaccine, you are less likely to transmit it to other people. Why? Because you, first of all, are less likely to get the virus. And if you get it, you get it out of your system quicker. So for that short period of time where you're infectious, yes, you could actually spread the virus. But you are infectious far less time than someone who gets it naturally. And that brings up our final point. I've been talking to the vaccine hesitant for quite some time. I understand the issues. But as we go into the holiday season, the only way you can ensure your best chance of not getting sick or getting very, very sick is to get vaccinated. I just can't stress this enough. Protect yourself and your families. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. If you don't believe me because I'm on the internet when you're seeing this, Talk with your personal physician or healthcare provider or pharmacist. They're not going to lead you astray. You don't know me, and that's fine, but talk to someone you trust. I'm hoping that perhaps more of you will choose to get the vaccine, which is not just good for yourself, but it's a public service that helps others.